welcome to the EEPROM 9. Don't ask me why the hell the screen looks wonky because it's not. It's only slightly wonky. And... Well, uh, I think it's something to do with the tripod. I don't know. I... Well, all I know is that earlier... I had my laptop on lap, legs resting on the bed, and I fell fast asleep. And I've just eaten food because I was hungry. These... From the Cookie Monster. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, the Cookie Monster from Tesco. The only Cookie Monster I know of is one from Sesame Street. Oh, you bastard, it didn't go in the bin. Anyway, back to what I was going to do, rather than ramble about food. Ah, yes, ah, uh, yes. It is probably my one sinful food, is biscuits. I can't get enough of them. I love biscuits. I don't think people like it when I eat all the biscuits though. So this is The Mine, aka a Dig Dug ripoff. In fact, in all the Electron games, I found that my program power actually seemed to have done the best games. You've got a few preferred parties who have done some wonderful games and then, well, all and then, well, superior software just produces our utter crap. Is what I've come to, uh, to the conclusion of. Of my s oh wait, it's alternative self software that produces the crap, not superior software. My mistake. Anyway, let's get showing you what it does. I've forgotten the control, so yeah. <laughs> it's a good start. That that's file your thing that. Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I'm blindingly good at this this game. You have to kill something that looks like a mutant strawberry thing. Oh look, money. And it's from back in the days they used to use real currencies in games. If you look, you can see British pounds, not the bloody crappy credits or squiggly s thing. <laughs> Back in the day when they used to use real currency in game. Oh, you bastard. Die! Die by my string thing that dissolves you into nothing. <laughs> Stupid thing. Well, quite a fun game, it is once. Well, it's impossible to get past level 2, I found. Possible to get past level 1 if you actually try. <coughs> The sound is electron, so don't expect anything magic there. Oh, you bastard! There must be some form of rudimentary AI running in this thing. Let's say, kill the crocodile thing that breathes fire. Normally, in games, when it comes to currencies, all you get is the stupid credit things. Or, like on Microsoft, our Microsoft thingy. Eh? We get them stupid Microsoft points. No, they don't like to put it out in a real currency. They make up their own. Go away, you stupid smiling thing. Face. I don't know what the hell this is all about. What is this? What kind of mine is this? There's no sumps. There's no drainage. Yay! Apparently when all the flowers die on the surface, you die. Not sure how that works. But who am I to question games logic? Because anyone who questions games logic will find themselves very confused. For instance, why would you get mutant strawberries in a mine? And what the hell's the exit? That's the point, can you out mine to the surface? I've never actually tried it. Let's mine to the surface and see what happens. Have we got? Yes, it's done it. And now, space bar to start. I've got the highest score somehow. Right, we're going to the surface. We're going to see if we can get to the surface. No, it doesn't let you go any higher than that. That's whack. So if there's a fire, you're pretty much screwed. Mind you, pretty much screwed with the hostiles around here anyway. Yes, it's an interesting little fun game. Nice little rip off of Dig Dug. As far as I can tell, it seems somewhat loyal to it. 
to a certain, well I say loyal to her, rip off isn't really loyal to anything, run away from the face which has now turned into a crocodile, probably find some place in the world eat crocodile. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't shoot downwards, which is whack. Come up here, you bastard. Oh, you're actually a bastard. Burn in hell. There we go. Problem solved. It's quite a fun... Did I just get past level two? I think I did. Okay, I just proved myself wrong. I've been followed by a mutant face and a strawberry thing. And I'm going to die because I don't think I have many lives left. <laughs> there we go. Game over. That is the mine. Uh, not sure which one, not sure which one was my highest score, but voila. I just crap at it. It's quite a fun little game like most of the micro power ones are. I quite like them all because they they can actually qualify as games that are oh, good. I will probably do a video on what I know of these and what games to get if you have an Alex one. But why another Electron? Well that's pretty much all my Electron games done that work. There's quite a few deads in here which is whack but that's life you just keep on trying till you run out of cake well, I say yeah homemade cake's the best and homemade biscuits oh I love homemade biscuits mmm Yeah, I didn't really review the game, did I? I just kind of ran. It's good. It's good. It's a good one for your electron, basically. <laughs> Screw reviewing it. It's, it's a good game for your electron, although the graphics is pretty typical electron. Nothing special. The graphics is pretty crappy as always, but you yeah, just carry on. That's what it's not all about. Fucking phone. Okay. See you in the next year.